Alrighty, here is a quick tutorial on how to add the water parts to Daisy. It's a special request. So I'm going to demonstrate for you guys. And it's very simple. Open up your map. Now, if you've added your folder separately, as I generally do, it's the best way to do it. Simply hit the plus, create a new library, include subdirectories. Now you want to scan through your P drive and look for one note. Make sure you've got P drive and you haven't changed that letter to something else. Otherwise, this will make it confusing. Open the DZ folder. Go down to water. And there's two there. You have water and water bliss. This is Chernerus. And this is Livonia. So if we want to go ahead and add the ponds in a separate folder, we simply hit ponds. Click OK. You can give them a color. Well, it's water. So let's make it a nice aqua blue. And we're going to click OK. Now we can see it's added the ponds in here. Now these are 50 by 50 tiles. So if you were to place these down on your map somewhere, you would simply give them a layer. Example, water. Make sure you've highlighted it. And the next thing you would do is find somewhere appropriate to put water. And in this example, it's a terrible example because it's the middle of Australia and there is no water. But we're going to do it just for the sake. We simply, what we want to do is add an object. Make sure you've got that selected. Come over to here and place a tile down. Now, if I was to run this, and with any kind of luck, you guys might see this on my second screen. If I've set everything up according to plan, I might have to turn on my, my dual screen. Whether or not it comes up, probably won't. And I'll hit the button there. And then I'll just get rid of that so you don't see that thing. And we can see there is my tile of water. Okay. A little tip, if you're putting down water, do not change uh, the size. Do not scale it up, whatever you do. And you want to tile them, you know, overlap slightly. So I do have another tutorial on laying waterways. And this was just a very, very quick one to demonstrate to you guys exactly how to do it. If you have any other questions, let me know. Now, one little caveat to all of this, guys, and I have to make this well known, is that some people will import it and they will get zero. That may be because you've imported a folder and actually imported the entire DZ folder somewhere else. For example, if you created a directory, included all the subs, and then you went through, which a lot of people do when they start out, and simply hit that and told it to go through and add that entire directory, when you come to add separate folders, they often won't show up. So the, the trick to that is obviously try to incorporate your folders in an organized sense. Now, I have several maps, and on my other maps, I tend to organize things very, very cleanly. So to give you a quick demo, I'll give you a look at my big one, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. In, it takes time to import your libraries, but if you import them individually and add them in an organized fashion, you're going to find it much easier to find all of your particular folders. So as you can see here on the side, just while we're waiting for it to load, this is quite an intensive map over a year and a half's worth of work. We have a look here, you can see everything's organized. Industrial, garages, houses, military, residential, medical. See, they're all categorized. Road panels, so on and so forth, all the way down to your water. So finding something is a lot easier when you know where to look. So there's my little tip for today. I hope that helped you guys out. Remember a couple little tricks. Make sure you click the plus. Create new library. Include subdirectory. Find that particular folder. Give it a color. And you can choose a square or a circle. And when you're adding, don't forget to add a layer as well. And if you're creating shapes, they're going to be in your shapes folder. So if you have water, like I do here, these will be located somewhere within here within a water layer. So finding them and clicking on them can always be a little bit of a challenge, but you can see one of my water shapes there. 
and that's how it's done i hope that helped you out get to it gunner mooch want to see some great work let me see how you go bye for now have a great day z